I'm uh, Larry Goddard. I'm the owner of uh, Goddard's Right Hand Farm in Mineral Hills Winery. And we're located in Northampton in Florence, 592 Sylvester Road. We've owned this farm since the 1980s, 82, where we actually uh, carved the, the farm right out of the land uh, that we uh, got from my parents or my mother-in-law and father-in-law. So uh, we've been building that ever since. Started with uh, a little bit of land and a little bit of an opening in the forest here. and We've carved it out for the last 20 years. Sue's parents lived next door. It was their land before ours. Uh, Sue's a country girl. I'm a city boy. Uh, but uh, as soon as we moved out here, uh, we started planting gardens and, uh, and uh, had the vision that we wanted to put a few apple trees in. Uh, once we had a couple apple trees in, we started talking to people from Hamden County Beekeepers, got a couple hives. I, I like being outdoors. I'm an A-type person. I, I'm happy to put 12 and 14-hour days in, and I've been doing that ever since we moved out here. I'm from a large Italian family on my mother's side. My mother had nine brothers and sisters in Springfield. We had to visit Grandpa every Sunday. It was a requirement. Grandpa made wine. So I played in the cellar among his barrels. I was in the environment with the winemaking. I was in the environment, although I was too young to help. Uh, so uh, just as soon as I could, I started making wine. That's when we moved out here and we had some of our own land. I started making apple wine and honey wine from our, our own apples and from our own honey. Cease has been wonderful for us and we've gotten a lot of support you know, from, from the local people because of, of Cease's involvement, Cease's advertising. Uh, you know, they approached us a lot of years ago and we had our farm stand in a tent in, 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 the front, uh, in the front of our driveway, we would go to work every day, come home and, uh, and our honor box was out there and uh, Phil Corman uh, approached us and ever since then uh, we've had a lot of interest from the local community and it's also, uh, you know, it's helped us too. We, we uh, have a lot of enthusiasm now for, uh, for what we're doing and, and feel appreciated. I think it's, it's fresher food. I think it's better food. Anything that was in a truck for a long time can't be as good as uh, uh, something you've got within a you know half an hour of home. You know, I I have five uh, part-time employees now. Prior to now, I had none. Uh, so I'm also helping the economy in some way by uh, you know being able to hire people as we grow. We usually invite people to come out almost any time uh, to taste our wine. We do tastings where you get to keep the logo glass as part of the tasting fee and. Uh, you taste five, uh, five one ounce tastes. Of, we have about 13 wines to taste, a couple of fruit wines, uh, grape wines, our, a mead, a honey wine, uh, so people can come out and taste and do a little tour of our, of our wine operation. The story about Red Hand Farm is a lot of people ask if we had chickens uh, and they come and ask for eggs. We did have chickens, we used to have geese, we used to have sheep, uh, but the, the genesis of, of the Red Hand Farm is uh, from the children's book, The Little Red Hen, and that we did it ourselves.